This video is for those who have the same problem as I do. Your bamboo printer doors don't open far enough. I designed a hinge to be able to open doors up to 270 degrees. Install it without modifying your printer. Unscrew all four door screws and remove rubber gaskets. Some models have doors glued to the hinges. Use hair dryer or heat gun on low setting to heat double-sided tape. Use paper knife and carefully peel it off. Same for upper hinge. Clean off remaining tape. Open metal hinges at 90 degrees and place glass doors behind them. If door can be put there and there is space for a paper knife, you are good to go. Look in model description, there is a bamboo assembled screw set. Add lower hinge, add screws, but don't tighten them. Add upper hinge, add screws, but don't tighten them yet. Prepare moving parts of the hinges. Add screws to the glass inserts. Screw them in, but only until the screw head touches the plastic insert. Don't let plastic expand. Screw those prepared parts onto the hinges. And again, don't tighten them. Screw on all four. Let's add hinges to the glass. Take the top hinge, push it in so it is fully against the glass and those pins are out on the other side. Take the smaller bamboo wrench and screw those small pins until they are about in line with the glass door. Do the same with bottom BOT hinge. The conical screw head will expand the plastic and it will hold in place. Test the hinges, they should stay in place when applying small A-force. Prepare the big screws. Use a little bit of glue and click those two parts together. Use the right glue according to your materials. Usually normal super glue will do its job. Do the same for longer screw. Before putting doors in place, test the screws. Screw them in out to smoothen the thread and make it easier to use later. Add the door to the printer and screw in the screws you just made. Before closing the door, push the hinges inside to the printer so that glass don't touch the metal. Bend top hinge to the left and top part of the doors will move to the left. Same in other direction. You need to adjust the door so there is little gap 1 to 2 millimeters on left side. Push in the hinges and fix them in place by tightening the screws. You can tighten them a little bit just in case you will need to adjust them at the end. Now add washers to the screws for stoppers. Add top T-stopper to the hinge. Screw in the screws, but don't tighten them. Check that there is a one to two millimeter gap on the left side and doors are straight. Then push the stopper fully against the printer and tighten the screws. Same with bottom B-stopper. Add washers to the screws. Add stopper to the hinge from bottom. Don't tighten the screws yet. Align the doors. Push the stopper against the printer. Now tighten the screws. Check that doors work. Check that glass part don't touch metal too much. In a perfect alignment, a glass will not touch the metal. If it touches release two stopper screws and two hinge screws, first push in the hinge all the way. Second, tighten those two shiny screws. Third, check for door alignment, one to two millimeters on the left. Push stopper against the printer and fix those bottom screws. And there you have your printer with doors you can open fully. Sometimes there will be a gap on left side, but it's same with original hinges. Don't forget to add my front power switch extender. Happy printing.